Zelda Ocarina of Time is one of the most beloved Zelda games of all time. Hell, it's one of the most beloved games of all time. But even so, it's not an open world game. There have been many hacks put out that have allowed you to break the standard path, which has allowed for speed running and the like. But I was thinking, what if I just tried to play this game open world style and said, screw y'all, I'm going to play this game the way I want to and go where I want to in the order I want to. So that's kind of what I do here, using two cheats which give me the ability to go basically anywhere on the map. I'm sure you'll understand what the cheats do by the end of this. You can find the cheat codes down below, of course. This is the standard view of this room, and I'm pretty sure there's a pot right here. It's not accessible by default. But I'm just gonna go ahead and fly off the edge here, reset this room, and I'll show you the magic pot. And it's a pretty fancy pot too, because it'll give you either a heart or a rupee. If you're down a heart, it'll be a heart. If you're not, it'll give you a rupee, but there it is. in its full glory. Gonna go ahead and pick it up. And here's a great example of the flying mechanic that the cheats provide. I have a directional shoot forward as well as a levitate, so it basically gives me the ability to go wherever. Including just to say, screw you, mister, and jump right on over his face. So yeah, let's check out the Dooku tree. Say what? Inside the great Dooku tree. Um, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Dooku. Shut up, no one asked your opinion. Flying about because I can, gonna go get a slingshot, why not? God damn it, there's no way out of here without a shield. I'm gonna try to pop it like an eyeball! And that's a rip. Back to our file. And I'm feeling like we should go to Goron Village. Which is not that way. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's this way, then that way, and straight. Gonna float over those. Lol. <laughs> And place to screw around. I'm definitely going in there. Alright, let's clip out of bounds. It's pretty easy here, fortunately. Sometimes it's pretty bastardly difficult to clip out of bounds, but not this time. Now we're going to bounce up and down until we get to the right place on the minimap, more or less. And keep trying until we just get the right angle and hit the loading zone for the door. gotta be here it's gotta be around here there it is we've made it into this locked store not much we can do here but it's cool that we're able to get here and I guess that's the point let's go ahead and go to the castle uh, cuz why not it sounds like fun so I'm going to okay so let's go through this village Ooh. didn't mean to do that but that was pretty cool Ah, oh, chicken. Let's see if that gives us better dexterity in the air comparatively to the not programmed hack. Somebody actually cared about making the chicken work. <laughs> it's really good. 
I'd say it's just about as good as Breath of the Wild's glider. Anyway, that's a small distraction. Back to our goal. Despite its night, we can just float right on over here, pick up the coins, fall through the floor, and load the next room. Okay, let's beeline over to the hole we need to crawl through. I'm not going to screw with the milk, man. We're going to go directly in. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what the guards are like. Oh, no guard in here at all. That's convenient. Ah, we can screw around. Bye-bye. Hmm, we'll go on the back side, front side. Hmm. Perfect. There's our hole. Ooh. There's another guy. Screw it. I'm out of here. Okay. That seemed to work for that one, too. <laughs> hmm. I don't like the angles on this one. Let's float over it. Don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself. Oh, I saw the shadow. Get the shadow back in frame. There it is. And landed. Beautiful. And we're going to try the same thing again. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, I'm hard off screen. I'm screwed. Rip. We're going to go ahead and do this the right way. And sneak behind this guy ever so slowly. Okie dokie, and that's our hole. Alright, we made it to the princess's chambers. Let's check out what's behind all of the walls. First off, we've got this one. It doesn't look very special, but hey, let's look at it anyway. We got ourselves some ugly wallpaper. Awesome. <laughs> well, they can't all be winners. Let's check out this side. Now, this one's pretty famous. You've got your Nintendo characters here, rather Mario characters. Got ourselves the famous frog slash dinosaur, depending on who you ask. Yoshi! Peach, Mario, Bowser, and way over there is Luigi. Very blurry, but hey, it's cool that they had a shout out. It's a good franchise. Well, let's check out this other wall. This is where Ganon's gonna come through in just a minute. Kill the gods! The invisible gods? Well, <laughs> invisible from one side, I guess. That's kind of interesting. Well, hey, princess. How you doing? Oh, fell in the water. Hey, hey, princess. Oh, we can't talk to her? We can only attack her? That's dumb. Well, I guess we'll talk to her like a normal person. I mean, it's less cool, but, uh, what the hell? Well, on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and save, quit, and call it an episode. Thank you all for tuning in. Bye.